Hello everyone, I'm Anami from Saham Yoga. Thank you for joining today. Today we're going to do a slow sun salutation with a little bit of a twist sequence. So we can start by relaxing our hands on our knees. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. Drawing all your attention inwards. Cutting out all external stimuli. Just be here now, you and your mat. Do a quick check in with your body. See how you're feeling. Bring your attention back to your breath. You can open your eyes and we can start by standing at the top of our mat. Hands into prayer pose. Close your eyes here for a moment as well. Just feel your weight evenly spread on your feet. You can sway a bit forward and backward. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Keep your tailbone slightly tucked. Engaging the lower core. Open your eyes. Take a breath in. Scoop your arms up. Breathe out. Forward fold. Down. Take a breath here. Take a breath in. Halfway lift. Breathe out. Jump or step into plank. Sorry, peanut. <laughs> Hold your plank for a moment. Spread your fingers, strong in the legs, strong in the core. Shift your weight a little bit over your wrists. Start bending the elbows nice and slow, Chaturanga. Push yourself back up to so upper facing dog. Push yourself down into downward facing dog. Strong in the shoulders, strong in the hands, strong in the arms, strong legs. Take your right hand and grab your left ankle, looking underneath the right shoulder. The left shoulder, sorry. Stack the right heel on top of the left. Start bending the right knee. Looking underneath the right shoulder now. Keep that right knee lifting up. Nice stretch in the hip and the side body. Squaring the hips up again. Step that right foot between the hands. Lift yourself up for high lunge. Nice strong left leg. Keep the belly engaged. Relax your shoulders, away from the ears. Bring the hands into prayer. Shift your weight over that right leg and start taking a twist, bringing that left elbow next to the right knee. And then twist yourself open. Keep that leg engaged. Bring your body back, back into high lunge. Hold your hands on the floor, bring the right leg back up for three-legged dog and bringing it down. Lift onto your toes, bend the knees, look in between the hands, step or jump in between the hands, breathe in for off lift. Slow down on the out breath for forward fold. 
Take it for a few breaths. Take a breath in. Scoop your arms up, come all the way up. And breathe out, hands back into prayer. Take a breath in, scoop your arms up. Breathe out, forward fold. Take a breath in, hold for lift. Breathe out, jump or step back into plank. Stay for a few breaths in the plank. Nice straight line. Shift your weight a bit forward, bend the elbows, slow down your chaturanga. Up and up your facing dog. Breathe out for downward facing dog. Stay here for a few breaths. strong and engaged. And twist yourself back into high lunge. See if you can sink a bit deeper. Bring the hands down. Back into three-legged dog. Bring the left leg up. Dropping the left foot, you breathing down the dog. Onto the toes, bend the knees, put it between your hands, jump or step in between your hands, straighten, breathe in off, lift. Breathe out, flow down, forward fall, stay for a few breaths. Take a breath in, come all the way up. And breathe out, bring the hands down into breathe. Take a breath in, arms up. Breathe out, fall forward. Breathe in, half a lift. Bend the knees, jump or step back into plank. Stay in plank. Shift your weight forward, bend the elbows, slow down, control the plank. All the way up, into upper dog. Feet out, downward facing dog. Now you're going to step or jump to the outsides of your hands. So bend the knees, lift the toes, look at the hands and jump to the sides of the hands. Just going to turn so I can face you for deep squats. Hands into prayer, elbows into the knees, dropping the, the glutes. Push 
drop that right hand down towards the floor, keeping the arm against the leg, and then bring that left arm diagonally looking to the side. Don't let that left knee drop in, keep it nice and open. Take a breathe in, scoop your arms up, breathe out, arms down, bend your knees, come down your back, bring the feet as close as possible to the glutes, feet hip width distance apart, pressing that lower spine into the mat, and start scooping the pelvis up for bridge, strengthen the legs, keeping the knees together, if you need to use your hands, to support your hips, by all means do that. Otherwise, you can clasp your hands, bring the shoulders closer towards each other. For a few breaths, tuck your chin to protect your neck. And take a few deep baby breaths here. Squeeze your glutes, strong in the legs. Clasp your hands, lower yourselves, lift your breath, lift your breath down. Straighten your legs. Get ready for relaxation. Palms facing up. Close your eyes. So it's a quick practice, but an effective practice just to relax and calm the nervous system a bit, especially after a long day. You can repeat this sequence a few times, as many times as you need. Always listen to your body. You can stay in relaxation for as long as you need. Thank you so much for joining this practice. Remember to breathe. Namaste.